Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and in today's video we will check out GeoPolicy. GeoPolicy is something that has existed in Checkpoint for a long time. Pre-R80 it was part of the IPS plate and now in R8020 they have actually changed so you can create a GeoPolicy with the help of updatable objects within your normal rule base. Let's start with how to configure it for gateways pre R8020. So then you go to geopolicy and policy here. Either you create a new policy or you keep with the default one. We will just stick with the default one because it's easier in this case. To activate the geopolicy, you need to select activate. And then you need to start to build a policy. And to not offend anyone, I will just select my own country, Sweden. And then we need to select an action. And in this case, we will do drop. And we want to drop the traffic both to and from the country. Because if you have a server that you don't want to be accessible from a country, then you don't want that server to be able to send traffic back to the country either. And as always, we track or we log all our traffic. So this is the way to do a blacklisting of countries, to have the specific countries with an action drop and then a generic uh, acceptance rule for all the traffic that is not part of this list. Or you can do it the other way around, meaning you whitelist the countries that you want traffic to be able to go back into and then you drop everything else. If you do whitelisting, you need to be aware of SaaS service and other cloud services. Maybe you have traffic to countries that you didn't expect. So just keep that in mind if you're doing whitelisting. To activate this, then you need to, of course, publish it. But before we publish it, we need to check which gateway are this actually applied to. And then you see here, we use the default geo policy. And if we go to gateways, we can see which gateway is using the default policy. And in this case, it's all our gateways that is using the same policy. It's also possible to do exceptions and that you do here. So you just select new and then you need to select which policy and source and destination and so on. We will not do this because this is more or less pre R8020 and uh, you guys should be updating to at least R8030, the new general availability and recommended version from Checkpoint as of today is R8040. So we do cancel here. Yes, we are sure. And to activate any policy within Checkpoint, you still need to publish it. And then you need to install the policy. Within this cloud environment, I'm not able to install it, but um, you know how to do it. The second way of doing it is doing it in the normal access policy. And just keep in mind, you need to have R8020 gateways or above to use this functionality. And if you want to do this, then we just, uh, in this case, maybe we go to the DMZ. And uh, here we have a rule saying access to the company's web server, external zone to the web server. Let's change here. So we take this rule and we do an um, above. And then we write the name, block specific countries, and we want to select the source here. So we need to find Sweden here. So to do this, then you do the plus, and then you take import, updatable objects. And you see here, this is a nice list and updatable objects is actually have a lot more than just geolocations. So in the next video, I will show you more about the updatable objects. So if we want to block, for example, Sweden, then we go to geolocation and it's in Europe. And then we just scroll down to Sweden. Either we do this or we just search for Sweden. And Sweden has been added to, to the source. And as always, we should log the traffic. In this case, we are dropping Sweden to it says n here but it's actually referring to web service and this is due to the layered policy so in this case it still need to be the source of external zone and then destination web service to even go to the rule 
Having the possibility to use updatable objects, in this case geolocations, within the policy, it gives a lot more flexibility and a lot more possibilities. So I would strongly advise you to upgrade your firewalls to above R8020. And the latest and greatest that is recommended by Checkpoint as of today in uh, July 2020, it's uh, R8040. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please comment below and uh, feel free to like, share and uh, maybe consider to subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.